I'm really glad you could all come in today. Um, I would be interested in hearing really from each of you what you think is going on in the family right now. Well, Galen's been getting in trouble at school, and it just seemed like the last straw. I mean, just things that have happened in the family, it just one more thing. I don't have time for this. I, well, none of us have time. You know, we're working, we're busy, we've got Megan who gets ignored, and it's just, you know, one thing after another. The last straw was his teacher calling the other night. The money had been taken off his her desk. And Galen says he didn't take it, but I, you know, I'm about to wipe my hands of it. Uh, yeah. We don't know what to do. He's grounded for two months, and I, you know, what more can we do? What did the teacher say to you happened when she confronted him about the money? She just said that he's out of control he in cursed class. Cursed her out. And he, he just, he just used language he didn't use at home. I, it, I just don't understand. How long would you each say that this has been a problem for the family? You know, it's getting worse, but it's just been going on, it, it seems like, since maybe fourth or fifth grade. Gail and I have, have had just something going on with us for, you know, we, sometimes it's okay, but just it seemed to just get at each other's throats, but, but there are times, and it seems like it's been forever. It's yeah. been forever. You know, when you say there are times, I find sometimes for families there are specific time periods when a problem gets worse or gets better. And I wonder, just if you reflect over the last few years, are there special times or certain times when any of you notice that the difficulty that you're struggling with gets worse? I mean, it seems like school ever always starts out okay, yeah. the start of the school yeah. year, and I don't know a what new happens. fresh begin. I mean, it's like it's a new start. And but you know, within a few weeks, it, it just something seems to go on. So more towards the end of September, beginning of October, is that? kind of what you would say? It seems that way. Uh -huh. Have you noticed that, Galen, that some of the difficulties that you're struggling with get worse in October? Not really. Uh-huh. What do you see, Megan? What happens for the family in October? I'm glad you decided to come anyway, uh, because, you know, in my experience, when there's a problem with a child, like there is with Galen, Sometimes it's good to have an opportunity just for the adults to talk. So maybe we could use today to talk about things that perhaps would be hard to raise with the children here. I don't know what you'd have in mind. I guess I'm wondering if there are things in Galen's history or in the history of the family, in the relationships, that you've had a hard time talking to him about that maybe we could spend some time talking about today. Well, you know, there, there are some things he doesn't know about and, and doesn't need to know about, but do, do you want to talk to her about that? I don't know if it has to do with this. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess we could. I mean, okay, this is just we're here us. alone anyway. Yeah. yeah, please, go ahead. Well, it, it's probably important for you to know that, you know, Ray is a wonderful father, but he's not Galen's father. He's Megan's father. I see. But I was married a long, long time ago, and... Um, Galen's real father died when Galen was six months old, in fact. Um, oh, how did he die? Uh, it was a car accident. 